What do we usually look forward to on a Friday night? Watching our favorite show, unraveling after a long day, finally settling down for the weekend. This is the case for many of the people who are fans of the multi-generational law enforcement series Blue Bloods on CBS, starring Tom Selleck and Will Estes in the lead cast. Let's dive in to see what happened that left fans devastated. To start off with the news that has bummed out many Blue Bloods fans. Since season 13 of the beloved show started airing, you can bet that on any given Friday night, you could find many people curled up in front of their television sets, catching up on another episode. Imagine their disappointment when they were told that their beloved show was going to take a hiatus, and now they would have to wait to watch it. Oh, and also, the show's plot had just started thickening. It's like that cliffhanger that drives you nuts, only for you to find out you'd have to wait even longer to know what happens. Isn't that so irritating? As we always do, fans turn to Twitter to express their anger and disappointment in the news. As one user sums up everyone's feelings in one word, why? In another tweet by a fan who just won the release date, so when are we getting another episode? They're really asking the important questions here, aren't they? Danny, gone! Ah! Let me go! They wanted to get Davis fired. Why do you think that? Because Davis stopped cooperating. Now let's learn more about why we have to wait through a hiatus. This isn't really the first time we've heard of Blue Bloods taking a hiatus, though. In December 2021, the show took a brief break during season 12, maybe because of CBS's already jam-packed Christmas schedule that year. Perhaps fans should have just learned their lesson by now that this isn't unusual for the production team. It's like realizing your toxic partner has a pattern. However, the way this pattern keeps resurfacing, probing such reactions from an audience, we can't help but wonder, does CBS do this on purpose? As we know, a short delay like this is a pretty smart strategy to keep their viewers hooked. The suspense is at an all-time high, and this way you keep your fans at the edge of their seats so they don't leave you for another show. For episode 6 of season 13, CBS teased its viewers by hinting at a plot shift for the Reagan family, tension in the air as thick as a conflict between Danny and Jamie develops. A gang-related shooting is supposedly causing a rift between these two because of Jamie's new position and with Danny emphasizing too much much with the victim of the shooting. Outside of his rift with Danny, we also see Jamie adjusting to his new role as an intelligence officer. Now, since he's required to keep more secrets from the family, we also see him fighting with his wife, Eddie Reagan, more often. At the same time, there are significant developments with Aaron and Anthony, as the lawyer jeopardizes a case involving Aaron's nephew. Finally, when Frank isn't invited to speak at a policing forum, this leads to him having somewhat of an existential crisis. Is he losing the support of his rank? While fans may also be grateful to see for giving them a little something to survive the break with, they're also somewhat distracted reacting to Danny and Jamie's fight. As one user says, such an intense episode, bittersweet that the show is set to go on another week of hiatus because of Thanksgiving weekend and will return with episode 7 on December 2nd. Now with all these story developments, who wouldn't want to know what happens next to the beloved characters? It's my fault an innocent woman is dead. And if this is the way to make it right, then I don't care what happens. Moving on, if we think about it, what else can CBS do? So why does CBS feel the need to take a break for people's attention and not rely on good, catchy storylines on its own? Well, if you think about it, creativity does start running dry after 13 seasons. Just take a look at Grey's Anatomy. So obviously someone would want to start relying on strategies like these, but it is something to think about. What if instead of catching the audience's attention, they just get irritated instead? Well, in that case, the fans can think about it this way. This constant, recurring delay fiasco may just be doing you a favor as a fan of Blue Bloods. How, though? Well, by increasing viewership season after season, delay after delay, your favorite TV show just gets renewed to grace your screen again. Now, if you think about it, does that feel so bad now? Oh, and the fact that the delay will come towards the end of November, right when Thanksgiving is around the corner. And that can only mean one thing. CBS is doing you a favor by freeing up your Friday nights so you can take full advantage of the Black Friday sales that will be happening. See how considerate they are about your consumerism habits? So why don't we take advantage of this and go out to do some shopping? We we are celebrating cake with cake. Mm. Captain Maher of Fleet Services has requested a meeting tomorrow at 10. Meanwhile, why don't we look at what's going on with Blue Bloods cast members? For those who've been following Blue Bloods since the beginning, remember Nikki Reagan, played by Sammy Gale since season one as a series regular, who disappeared off the screen after season 10. Nikki's presence was undoubtedly missed by the audience as the actress left the show. During an interview later on, Gale expressed regrets at Nikki not having more screen time with the character, Detective Anthony Abbott to Marco, played by Steve Shrippa. The reason for that is she feels she would learn a lot more as anyone would with their idol. She 
claimed to have been a fan of Shrippa's work since he played Bobby Bacchuleri on The Sopranos and Leo Boykowicz on The Secret Life of the American Teenager. Apparently, she wasn't the only one who felt this way about him. Because of the cult following The Sopranos has, Shrippa said that no matter which set he goes to, someone would call out, where's Bobby? It was probably funny the first time someone said it. So maybe it shouldn't be such a major surprise that Gil would look up to him with this much respect. She said she felt she could have learned so much from him from his working experience. Understandable though, imagine meeting someone that you could look up to and then getting a chance to work with them. We definitely don't blame Gil for feeling this way. Do I know you? You know my friend, Manny. Are you a cop? Now why would you say that? Because you look like a cop. Let's dive into what Sammy was talking about and what the big fuss is about. Detective Abbott Marco starred in the series as a family friend and fellow detective. We were so used to seeing just the Reagan family around their dinner table that seeing Anthony Abbott Marco in season 6 was a pleasant surprise. He was close friends with the beloved Frank Reagan, seemed to butt heads with Danny Reagan, and was also in friendly terms with Aaron Reagan, Nikki's mother. Nikki and Anthony do not have many scenes together or one-on-one -on -one interactions. Even if we have a good working relationship with someone we wouldn't necessarily think about extending that courtesy to their family members. A senior citizen befriending a young girl would actually be kind of worrying. Sadly, there isn't much hope of seeing Gail's wish come true now. The chances are pretty much zero of these two reuniting on Blue Bloods. In the show, Sammy's character was promptly removed from the show for unknown reasons. In her last season, Nikki decided to leave New York for San Francisco to help minority startups and green initiatives in urban areas. She chose not to enter law enforcement, which was basically the whole premise of the show, so there was probably no point in keeping Nikki around Anyway, however, Sammy Gale could land another acting gig in which Shrippa is also starring. Well, then fingers crossed for Gale that she gets to work with Shrippa again. What, you don't think I can handle it? It's speaking, you handle that function quite well. Any update on who killed my wife? Yeah, we got a full confession. Who was it? Moving on, will Sam Miguel get the chance to co-star with Steve Sharippa again? The showrunner Kevin Wade has said regarding Nikki making a cameo that hopefully she will swing by. Like with many other things, sometimes characters outgrow the screen or actors outgrow the characters they're playing. The same way Gil could have easily outgrown Nikki too, making it just a tad difficult to bring her back. However, it couldn't really hurt for her to come back for one tiny Sunday dinner, right? At least she could meet Joe Hill too. Kevin Wade also mentioned that they could have brought her back in the last season, but because of scheduling conflicts, they didn't manage to to line up with her now busy schedule. We do hope to see Nikki again on the screen, especially alongside Abbott Marco. Who knows, maybe the writer can find some scope to develop the characters further and maybe create an unexpected friendship or mentorship. A family friend is a family friend after all. With Gail's upcoming projects, there isn't much of a chance for her to restore her role. We're sure she loves her job, but she probably had a good reason to leave Blue Bloods. Good luck to Sammy Gail for whatever project she decides to pursue next. That's a wrap for this video. We would love to know your take on the discussed topics. Let us know in in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and we'll see you in the next one.